Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, we will use a ready-made stamp and turn that into a watercolor painting simply by tracing the outline and adding colors. You can download the sketch, color palette, and reference image from the description. I'll link everything that is used including the brushes for making this painting there as well. Let's start by opening my special canvas with the built-in watercolor paper texture. If you have purchased the veggie line brush set, you can now go ahead and stamp the tomato and put it in the center of the canvas. If not, that's totally okay. You can always download the sketch for free and add it onto your canvas. And after that, let's lower the layer's opacity because we need to trace the outline later. We need to add a new layer under the stamp for the sketching. And for now, let's turn off the background. Use the detail slash eraser brush with a white color to outline the tomato. Then drag the white color inside to fill up the shape. And repeat the same with the leaves but in a different layer. We will work on the fruit itself first and then move to the leaves. So let's add a new layer above the solid tomato layer and set it to clipping mask. This way, when we paint on the top layer, we don't need to restrict our brush strokes within the outline and it will not go out. Let's use the wet brush and a very light pink color to add a wet wash to the tomato. And don't worry if it doesn't look so good right now because it's just the first layer. We will continue to paint on top and it'll look more and more realistic. We want to leave parts of the tomato lighter and parts darker. And typically the top where stem grows out of should be darker. And so is the bottom. And we want to leave the two sides, you see near the two lines on the sides. We want to leave that part lighter as well. So let's use the textured two brush with a darker pink red color to adding shadows on the top and the bottom. We'll also darken the center a little bit just so that the two sides will look lighter in comparison. I mentioned earlier we will be adding layers, so let's introduce some extra watercolor textures using the thick grainy brush just to add that watercolor look. And finally for the fruit, we just want to smoothen some of the areas using the blender tool, the hand sign, with my blender brush. Okay, now the fruit is done, we will move to the leaves following the same steps. As usual, we want to add a new layer above the solid white color for the leaves and stem and set it to clipping mask. We will use the textured 7 brush and a light green to color in the leaves. Next, we want to add a little bit of shadow to the base of the leaves using a darker shade of green. Alrighty, the painting itself is done and it's time to turn off the stamp and take a final look. Okay, we want to smudge a little bit with the blender just so that things are smoother. Alright, you can stop here if you want and I think it looks pretty delicious already. But I'm going to take another step just to make it look a bit more realistic. Let's go back to the tomato colors layer and use the selection tool to select random areas of the tomato and then add about 20% of feathering. This is because we want to change some of the colors and we don't want the change to look so abrupt. Under adjustments, let's play around with the hue saturation and brightness to introduce a yellowish hue in certain parts. That way I think it looks more realistic, but if you have other colors in mind, you can go for that if that's your wish. And then we will repeat the same step for the leaves. You can seriously stop here now and I think it looks perfect already. But if you want to follow along, let's quickly add a pretty watercolor background for this tomato. To do that, just add a layer below everything and we will use the light grainy brush and thick grainy brush to quickly create a messy textured watercolor background look. And you can play around with the brush opacity and size until you're happy with the look. It doesn't really matter like, what exactly you do here as long as you know it's quick and organic and messy. I think it'll look good. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial, I have great news for you. I have a class with four extra watercolor tutorials in great detail, progressing from easy to slightly advanced. You can use my special link below to sign up and watch it for two weeks for free. And as a bonus to signing up for that class, you will receive 27 watercolor brushes all for free. And all you need to do is to follow the link in the description. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Happy creating until then.